based on knowing the functional groups, we should also be able to guess some of the physical properties. Uh, just remember all uh, organic compounds are covalent and they have intermolecular forces and this was the order that in which intermolecular forces increases they become more sticky and this is directly proportional to their boiling point so as you show hydrogen bonding you should have a higher boiling point than a molecule that has only, only van der Waals now there are few molecules that only show van der Waals uh, those are categorically your hydrocarbons uh, remember your alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. For example, C2H6, which is an alkane, ethane, C2H4, uh, which is ethene, an alkene, and C2H2, which is alkyne. Now, these are totally nonpolar, and only thing they can offer in terms of intermolecular forces are uh, Van der Waals, which is the weakest. There are some molecules that have dipole-dipole. Uh, they are stronger than uh, Van der Waals. Uh, those are, for example, your aldehyde, which is a carbonyl group between an alkyl, or is an alkyl, and a hydrogen. There is no hydrogen bonding. By definition, hydrogen should be attached to oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. Uh, there is another group known as ketones, which the carbonyl group is between R and R prime. Now, neither one of these two is hydrogen. This is ketone, which uh, shows dipole dipole. There is nitrile, which is an alkyl group attached to a cyanide. Then it only has polarity to show. There is your esters, which are an alkyl group. And then you have your ester, and you will end with another alkyl group. So these are examples of molecules that have higher boiling point than hydrocarbons. Then you have finally the group that uh, shows the maximum intermolecular forces, hydrogen bonding. Uh, example, your alcohols with hydroxyl group. Example, your carboxylic or organic acids. Example is your amines. This could be R prime or hydrogen simply. Example is your amides, which are just like esters, except one oxygen is replaced with nitrogen. Then again, R prime could be a hydrogen or another alkyl group. So this is in a fashion that your boiling point definitely increases. Now just a note on another property, acidic and basic, just remember, your carboxylic group are acids and their pH is less than 7. So if you have a carboxylic group, you can say that's acidic group. And also remember your amine groups are basic, their pH is greater than 7. Weak bases, weak acids, however, this is still an acid and this is still a base. Now let's look at some examples and let's just... Uh, sort of estimate their boiling points or guess their boiling points. Uh, I'm going after a, a positional isomer of pentane, C5H12. Now these are the isomers that you have. One is n-pentane, normal pentane, which is just a long chain. And then you have a branch bond, which is 2-methylbutane. On the second carbon, you have a methyl group. And finally, you have 2,2-dimethylpropane. Now I'm offering three boiling points. And you should be able to sort of kind of say which, uh, which has the highest, which has the lowest, and based on what. 36 degrees goes for n-pentane. And the reason for that is if you put another molecule of pentane, they will line up perfectly and they will pack perfectly and they will create more van der Waals because of this uh, notion that their surface area is the biggest. So surface area goes up, therefore boiling point in this case goes up. For each case you have to be t able to justify. Now this is 28 degrees because of this branch here, this packing gets interrupted and therefore they're less sticky. And finally, this has the lowest boiling point, 10. 
because this molecule is spherical in a fashion if you put another molecule that's also spherical and they have less contact so this has the least surface area so sometimes that is how you are going to argue your case so if you put another uh, molecule like this they will not have enough point to stick to each other so that it has the lowest boiling point another example I want to get into if you are functional isomers if you look at this molecule the molecular formula for both of them is C2H6O but one is an alcohol ethanol and one is an ether dimethyl oxide although we don't study uh, ethers this year in your IB but you should also be able to justify which one has higher boiling point and which one has lower boiling point definitely the ethanol has the higher boiling point because of the fact it has hydrogen bonding to offer and the lower one which is if you notice it's less th uh, lower than room temperature and it's a gas is this one because it only offers polarity or dipole dipole attraction so this was easier than the example before another example and now you have to be careful uh, there is a uh, geometric isomers which soon you are going to see in one of one of my videos what geometric isomer is uh, there is a notion of cis or trans involved so if you have a double bond and two groups are on one side of this double bond that makes it cis and if they are across from each other that makes it trans now uh, this might not be easy for you but the normal the typical is if you are cis you become polar so this molecule is polar and it offers dipole dipole so if you are polar you are much more sticky than something that is non-polar so trans is non-polar so the lower boiling point is for the trans which is 48.5 degrees celsius and the polar one gets the higher boiling point which is 60.2 degrees celsius uh, but you also have to be uh, able to justify anomalies and, and things that do not go uh, where they should. So sometimes you have to slow down and inspect the molecule. If I give you cisbutyn dioic acid versus transbutyn dioic acid, this is easier to look here. Now this is a, a carboxylic group and a carboxylic group. Since we have two of them, we can call it dioic and this is a ethene because you have two carbon now in this case uh, the typical should be trans should be lower however in this case trans has a higher boiling point and it's 287 degrees celsius and cis has 135 degrees celsius if we give you this two piece of information you should be able to look at the molecule and say oh uh, these two hydrogen bondings are so close to each other that internally this molecule is forming hydrogen bonding with itself therefore exterior wise it doesn't have much intermolecular attraction or forces to grab another one however this one will not be internally busy and across it's going to stick to another molecule so this is the justification for that this one makes internal hydrogen bonding and this one does not make internal hydrogen bonding rather has external then uh, to bring the significance of hydrogen bonding across I went after uh, this example try uh, methyl amine uh, one of my videos will tell you which is tertiary which is primary which is secondary let me just tell you this one has no hydrogen tertiary this one for the fact ethyl methyl amine and we go by alphabet for the fact that it has one uh, hydrogen left on it it's secondary finally if you look at this propyl amine has two hydrogen on it and it's an example of a primary amine but that's not uh, uh, what I'm after I'm after boiling points this one has twice the hydrogen bonding compared to this one and this one has no hydrogen bonding so this should have the lowest boiling point this is 3.5 degrees celsius this one is about 37 degrees celsius boiling point wise and this one is 49 degrees celsius because it has two hydrogen bonding versus one versus none 
to get the example uh, further uh, reinforce it I'm giving you example of ethanol uh, which is a sugar alcohol C2H5OH it has one part hydrogen bonding ethylene glycol is antifreeze uh, and it has twice the hydrogen bonding this one the formula is C2H4OH uh, twice glycerol or 1, 2, 3 uh, propane triol has three hydrogen bonding and this one is C3 H5 OH three times now glycerol is almost uh, to the point that this liquid is extremely uh, viscous and gooey this one has the highest boiling point 290 degrees Celsius uh, your antifreeze in the cars is 197.3 degrees because it has two hydrogen bonding finally sugar alcohol is about 78.5 degrees Celsius temperature at which it turns into a gas so this is uh, this slide is important in order to get hydrogen bonding across and as the last example I'm comparing one alcohol which is the first member only one carbon met versus one that has 10 carbon decanol and and it's obvious that this one has uh, it's maybe not so obvious this one has hydrogen bonding this one also has hydrogen bonding you might not see the last this is a OH group that has been outside the slide uh, now this one uh, will have 65 degrees Celsius of boiling point this one will have 232 0.9 degrees Celsius the fact that you have such a humongous uh, hydrophobic chain here this is going to pack with another molecule nicely and you have much more van der Waals that overcomes they both have one hydrogen bonding but this one has humongous van der Waals compared to this that's why the boiling point is so high also you are not going to be uh, decanol is not soluble in water because this tail is hydrophobic versus this hydrophilic uh, hydroxyl so you're also insoluble in water